Hi and hello, I am Atina Pandey here. In this video, I am going to give you some of the few statistics about biomedical engineering. What is the status of biomedical engineering and biomedical engineers in Tamil Nadu when compared to all the other states in India? Particularly, take an example of four different states nearby Tamil Nadu, comparatively Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. And the last one, we are in the Tamil Nadu. So when compared to all the different states nearby us, the number of colleges, the number of institutions they are providing biomedical engineering is much, much, much more heavier count in Tamil Nadu alone. Because in Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka, in Kerala, the count of colleges in their states is in around 15 to 20 colleges have biomedical engineering. Okay, each and every state have individually have. But in Tamil Nadu status is 99 colleges having biomedical engineering course. So this particular information, every biomedical engineer, those who are studying biomedical engineering in Tamil Nadu should know about this. What is the reason why Many of them says that this is the good point, right? So we are having much amount of uh, biomedical engineering colleges, so we must be proud. Yes, of course, we must be proud and compared to all the other state. But one thing you must be remember, the number of outcomes every year, please remember every year, almost 3950 plus students are passed out from biomedical engineering. So the number of vacancies required is around 4,000. So 4,000 people are ready for placements. You know something, the next, come to the next status. 4,000 vacancies we required. Okay. In that number of vacancies there in every year in tier 3, tier 2, tier 1 I will tell you. Number of companies I will tell you and then I will tell the vacancies in around. The number of tier 3 companies in Tamil Nadu alone is 649. The number of tier 2 biomedical companies is around 231. The number of tier 1 companies is around 9. So these are all the counts of biomedical engineering in Tamil Nadu. So Approximately how much amount of vacancies there in per year compared to 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20. How much amount of vacancies required in 2023 and approximately when belongs to the status of previous years. Only 1000 vacancies are available. But 4000 people are getting passed from every institution. I am telling you the calculation that 99 into approximately 40 students per college. So 99 into 40 is equal to 3900 people getting passed. In some colleges they may have the 60 counts. Some of the colleges they have the 120 seats. So you can able to approximately call for 4000 counts are there. Passed out. But the vacancy per year in tier 2, tier 3, tier 1 comparatively. All among only 1000 vacancies are there. So this is the time where every biomedical engineers, those who are in final year, you should aware about how we are in that particular thousand because 4000 people are getting passed only thousand people are going to get placed in tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 companies how we can able to place it in the thousand candidates how we are shortlisting so the status of Tamil Nadu is entirely different so how to improve the profile not only in academics sir I, I, I can uh, get a CGP of 9 point I am getting a CGP of more than 8 everybody among 4000 around 1500 people or 2500 people get CGP around more than 80 more than 8 points CGP right then how we can able to shortage it what are the other qualities they have how much amount of certifications he have how much amount of practical knowledge he have how much amount of internships he attended how much amount of hospital training he gone how much amount of presentation he did in the various colleges? How much amount of awards he went? So according to these particular qualities, only you are going to be shortlisted. So don't simply sit in the college and only concentrating on the academics. Because 
99 biomedical engineering colleges are there. Maybe in the next academic year, the count may be increased. So you must be shortlisted for that. You must be improve your quality. That is what I frame this video, the status of Tamil Nadu. We can able to take it in a positive way and also we can able to take it in a negative way. Much amount of vacancy is not there, but much amount of students are passed out from every year. So how we can able to place it in the among the thousand. So that is the reason why I'm framing this video. This is an alert message for all the final year people. Please be concentrate on your extracurricular activities like certification, internship, in-plan trainings, projects, okay, journal, publications. All these things are just included in your profile. Then your quality may be increased. Then you can able to shortlist it and place it in a tier 3, tier 2 or tier 1 company with a base scale of 50,000 or 60,000 per year or per month, I'm sorry. So thanks a lot for this particular patience and uh, you must be aware about this information. That is what I make in this video. Thank you very much.